So our next speaker is our registrar and dean of students, Major General Rakesh Basri. So I would like to introduce our registrar, sir. So Major General Rakesh Basri is a B.Tech Civil Engineering from the College of Military Engineering, Pune. His master includes a MPhil in Defense and Strategic Studies from Madras University, Master of Management Studies from Osmania University, MSc Defense Studies from University of Madras. The general officer was commissioned in the Indian Army Engineers through NDA in 1978 and has held many prestigious appointments in different ranks during his 38 year service. Some of these include Director General Combat Engineers at Army Headquarters, Secretary National Defense College India, Chief Engineer of the Corps on the line of control in Jammu and Kashmir. He retired in May 2016 as Chief Engineer Western Command. Now I would like our Honorable Registrar and Dean of Students to take over from here and start his presentation. Good morning to the attendees of this second admission webinar which we are holding for JUIT Vaknagar. The Vice Chancellor has already shown you through a video the glimpses of the university and apprised you about the various aspects. Let me dilate a little further on the facilities which are available on the campus. For those of you who would be wondering, uh, where does Vaknagat exactly lie on the geography of India? The National Highway 5, that is from Chandigarh towards Shimla, 22 kilometers short of Shimla on the main National Highway, you divert for three kilometers to the left. And here we are neatly tucked in the hills of Vaknagat, located at 5,600 feet above mean sea level in the Daladhar ranges. The campus is a 25 acres, lush green, smart and pollution free campus. For those of you uh, who have seen the pollution levels of the planes. When Delhi NCR was experiencing pollution levels of 526, 536, we were at a pollution level of five. The campus uh, is located at a height and therefore enjoys beautiful climate throughout the year. The maximum temperatures in the summers reach maximum up to 31 degrees. The campus itself was designed by a famous Canadian architect firm by the name of Messrs. Arcop Associates. And many an architectural students who are pursuing their PhDs come to study the beautiful architecture of this university. The campus is mainly residential. However, there are some day scholars who come from the nearby locations from Shimla, Shogi, Kandagat, up to Solon as well. As far as hostels are concerned, we have 13 boys and one girls hostel. There is a single or a double occupancy rooms. The single rooms are a little uh, are, are few and uh, for a nominal additional cost, the single rooms are available on a uh, merit basis. There's a separate hostel for the first year, both boys and girls. The Vivekananda Bhavan, this is the nerve center of the university. All the academic departments, less the civil engineering department is located in the Vivekananda Bhavan and the administrative offices are also located here. The, as the vice chancellor mentioned, we have state of the art labs. There are 11 computer labs housing more than 1000 computers with latest software. Electronics and Communication Engineering Department has got nine labs. 
the biotechnology department. It's got 16 labs along with the greenhouse, and it has to its credit number of patents and recently been chosen by government of India to sponsor 10 seats in MSC. A very well stocked library, which spans three floors of the Vivekananda Bhavan. We have more than 40,000 printed books, 7,000 e-journals and more than 41 lakh e-books. The library is a very favorite spot with the students and it remains open till midnight. A very impressive auditorium we have where all the cultural events and any central uh, cultural events or central lectures are held here. It also has an indoor uh, sports uh, center with a indoor badminton court, which you see on the slide in front, table tennis. Besides this, the campus life, it is quite buzzing. High oxygen levels, they keep everybody quite charged. The main road in the campus is popularly known as the mall. You'll find students having a sufficient place to interact with each other, enjoy the campus. We have a well-stocked tuck shop in the academic block, which remains open during the academic hours. We run it on a no profit basis and students are able to get all requirements of theirs from this particular talk shop. The hostel rooms, you'll find all hostel rooms are modern in their construction. There's 24 by 7 power supply since we have captive power as well. Hot water and hot air are supplied in the rooms and in the common washrooms. The campus is fully Wi-Fi. There are TV rooms in all the hostels. As regards sports facilities, there are both outdoor and indoor sports facilities. In the outdoor, being hills, we have a handball ground which doubles up as a mini football ground, a net practice cricket, basketball ground, a volleyball ground, two outdoor badminton courts, one indoor badminton court, table tennis in hostels as well as in the auditorium, chess and carom boards in the TV common rooms. In order to promote sports and to provide the right kind of coaching, we have two national level sports coaches, a boy sports coach and a girl sports coach. Both of them have also played the nationals. We have a sports meets twice in a year. Once the GIT holds and once or twice the teams are sent to the various institutions in and around the Machar Pradesh to include IIT, Mandi, IIT, Ropar, NIT, etc. Every hostel, that is the boys hostels, they have got three gyms. The girls hostels, they have got two gyms. For the first year students, these gyms are exclusive. The aerial view of our basketball, volleyball, and the outdoor badminton course. They're very popular among the student body and they remain late during the nights. We have an open ground for football, handball, and cricket. This is also lit during night, and students play up till 11 p.m. We have a state-of-the-art mechanized laundry. There are no additional charges. They are part of your hostel fees. Students, they are allowed twice a week to go, give their clothes, and collect them at the designated time. The Annapurna is the student's mess, a completely mechanized kitchen. 
We change the menu every week. There's no limit to the food quantity. And we are quite proud of our Napurna. We have a suggestion box, which is opened every Tuesday. And the students' suggestions are taken very seriously. All our food handlers are medically tested. Incidentally, the Annapurna is managed by the JUIT itself. It is not outsourced. We have a very active mess supervising committee, which comprises of faculty members. And these two faculty members are changed every week. They interact with the students, inspect the premises, and comment on the cleanliness and the food quality and quantity and the feedback of the students. The day scholars, they are allowed to have breakfast and lunch. However, this is on a coupon purchase, which is at a very subsidized rates. For students, other than in academic hours or other than the meal hours in Annapurna, if they are hungry, they can use the cafeteria it is again serving items on no profit basis. The timings of the cafeteria are up till 10.30 p.m. on every day. However, during exam days, when students are studying till late at night, we extend these timings up till 11.30 p.m. To cater for the medical requirements of the whole campus, we have a very well-stocked dispensary with an in-campus, a male, and a lady doctor and two male and two lady uh, nurses as well. We have a campus, uh, JUIT uh, has an in-campus ambulance and uh, the nearest uh, next stage of evacuation for medical is IGMC Shimla, that is the Indira Gandhi Medical College Shimla. certain other miscellaneous facilities available on the campus. We have a mandir where all religious functions are well celebrated. We have a psychological counselor which attends the requirements of the students thrice in a week. We, all, we have also engaged a professional online counseling agency, which is available 24 by 7 to all JUIT students, faculty and staff. All the major couriers and online purchase delivery services, they come to the campus and there is a courier collection center. The JUIT operates a bus service which is free of charge for the students, both the day scholars as well as the hostel students. And it operates between the JUIT campus and Vakna Ghat, which is on the national highway. From Vakna Ghat, there are adequate transport services which are available down to the plains towards Shimla. There's taxi services also available. Last year, we introduced NCC for boys, and the year before that, we had NCC for girls. So this is a new initiative and quite popular with the boys and girls. Recently, our NCC girls have cleared the B certificate examination with flying colors. We do hold alumni meets and My name is Sumantan Rag and I completed my 
bachelor's in biotechnology in the year 2016 and later through gate examinations i pursued masters in biomedical engineering from iit bombay currently i am working as an application development engineer at an us company named kla corporation which supplies process control and yield management systems to the semiconductor industry and this profile includes a vast travel to different countries and to all of you back there in jiit have a blast enjoy the four years the campus is really beautiful and we've got really good teachers in our department so make use of it and yes study hard and party harder thank you everyone kudos bye bye hi my name is tulika i did my bachelor's in biotechnology from jiit i graduated in 2017 and then moved to denmark and did my masters from the university of copenhagen in the field of biotechnology in the second year of my masters i received the danish government scholarship which covered my tuition fee as well as my living expenses now i'm looking for and i would really like to thank jiit for the quality of education the encouragement and the role it has played in building my career the jiit also has a student body uh, which operates the jp youth club in fact all the activities of the jp youth club are conceived and uh, developed by the students themselves they are given direction by a faculty member and it's a very vibrant club having a lot of sub clubs under it whether it is music dance photography video dramatics cultural programs sports festivals technical fest these are all come within the gambit of the jp youth club you would find that almost every month of the year we have one or the other activity whether major or minor conducted by the jp youth club this keeps the campus really vibrant the other student activities these are the names given to the various uh, fests that we have le festus is the technical fest diksha is for the freshers so sorry the le festus is the annual fest diksha is for freshers murius is the technical fest that we have parakram is our sports festival and gunj is a musical festival besides the activities of the jp youth club the juit also participates into various other kind of extracurricular activities whether is to do with uh, himachal pradesh whether is to do with yoga whether is to do with educating the local populace or going and interacting with them are all falling within the gambit of the activities conducted by the students just a word about anti ragging measures like any university we follow all the orders emanating from the government of india the regulatory bodies and we have an anti ragging committee in place an anti ragging squad the first year hostels they are banned for the others and vice versa all wardens of the hostels they are in living in the campus we have cctv cameras installed at most of our sensitive locations in the campus and we have a security guards who are both ex servicemen and from the private which are deployed on the campus 24 by 7 this is all i had to share with you if you have any questions i'd be free to answer them So I already answered most of the questions. If you have any other questions, you can mail your questions to us at admission at the rate juit dot ac dot in. Just a 
word about the present uh, COVID. Uh, the university management has announced a reduction of 20% in the tuition fees for the academic year 2020 and 2021. That is one academic year, that is the current academic year, as a special one-time COVID relief package. And this is applicable both for the students who are taking new admission as well as the, for the students who are already enrolled in the JUIT. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, now we will have some break and at 3 p.m. we will start with our next session and our next speaker will be our Dean Academics and HOD CSCI. Thank you so much. Close call.